Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round six. Yes, round six of the Recruit Flight Club Championship. Thank you to everybody who has watched today. And if you haven't been watching, or maybe you're just tuned in here on YouTube, I want to remind you that we are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. We got tons of events that go on Um Basic man, ton of weekends. If if you're not sure, hit us up on our Discord exclamation point Discord or hit the link in the description down below. But we're about to do choose your champion. So before uh, I open up those polls, my friend William Hagwood is going to read out the list. Let us know what the players are doing. And remember, if you're watching from home, if you're watching from home later on on YouTube, put your champion in the description down below and uh, let us know how your bet ends up uh, shaking out. All right, William, let's go. All right. We have on our left, your bet one, choose or bet one all, choose your champion. Uh, this is Alan Clark. He has uh, the Galactic Republic with uh, Rick Olay with Daredevil and R2 Astromech. Daredevil's hard turn boost for stress. And R2 Astromex 2 healing uh, of shields uh, in exchange for our weapons disabled. Uh, with him, we got Warthog. That's our zombie lat pilot himself, uh, which will prevent non limited ships at range 0 to 2 from being destroyed in the engagement phase. Uh, so that's him and these uh, the two seven squad seven veterans uh, with him. Um, Warthog is also rocking some Diamond Boron missiles, um, three dice, long range, two to three, uh, their uh, attack. And if it does hit, you can spend another charge from it to make everybody in range zero to one roll a damage dice for extra damage as well. So pretty cool here. Uh, we see uh, that they are taken to the bottom of the board here. And Rick Olay is uh, playing the bait game. Now up at the top. On the other side, your bet to all champion, Neil Weber, flying the Rebel Alliance. We have Dutch Vander, who when he locks, he can give a friendly a lock with Dorsal Turret, Ion Torpedoes, and R3 Astromech for a second lock. Does not mean he can help out a second friendly, uh, but he could say, lock uh, the thing he's trying to shoot at and uh, also acquire a lock on the thing a friendly is trying to shoot at. So some cool interaction there. We had Jake Farrell, uh, likes to boost and barrel roll and give out focus actions to range uh, zero to one uh, with proton rockets uh, to give him a nice punch. Uh, also, Garvin Dreas with him as well. Uh, gets to you when he spends a focus token. Pass it to a friendly at range one to three. And rounding down this list is Luke Skywalker uh, with the uh, also an R2 astromech. Like I said before, that's the uh, shield healing for weapons disabled. So a lot of CNG. These are uh, <laughs> I'm not biased at all, but these, <laughs> <laughs> these are uh three of my favorite pilots in rebels dutch jake and garvin they just have so much synergy between them everyone every one of them essentially creates a, an extra action whenever they take an action so mm -hmm. it it makes a lot of actions it turns out um and then luke obviously very good um spending the extra points here for the r2 astromex to make sure that he can run away and heal if need be and they are taking that bait um, for the pursuit of Rick. I was actually wondering if maybe Rick had set up there and then all the rebels set up. But Rick's mm -hmm. in I-5, and most of those rebels were I-4. Yep. So he planned to be bait out there. Um, I mean, it what probably, do you think about that, Dion? It's probably worked out so far. I mean, obviously, uh, they uh, this is a, a game that is on the precipice of uh, of the cut. So we'll see where, mm -hmm. where things end up being. But, yeah, I mean, it's a great strategy with Rick. Rick is generally bait in a list. But mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those where it's like, even if you decide, oh, he's bait, 
that you can't really ignore him because as soon as you do, he's going to be turning in and uh, he can very easily creep up on range one and punish you if, uh, if you let him. So you got, you got to watch out for that. His time on target isn't great, but if you start ignoring him, uh, especially this, uh, this Rick Olay has Daredevil on him. Now, before we go too far and before, Will, I ask you who you have chosen as your champion, I want to remind everybody that today's games were brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code RECRUIT21 for 21% off. Did you know that Curled Paw not only has X-Wing acrylic tokens and templates, but they also have uh, these awesome anime posters uh, that have been created by Andrew Knuckles himself, but also some some uh, guest artists on there on his shop as well. Wade Pache actually has a couple of awesome Gundam prints on there, so you can get your hands on there and uh, just take a look. There's also acrylics for other games besides X-Wing as well. Magic the Gathering, a Wingspan, Destiny, if you still play Destiny, Legion, all kinds of stuff. Check them out. Exclamation point CPC in the chat or click the link in the description down below. All right. So, Will, who chose your champion, sir? Uh, this is a tough one. They both have a lot of uh, beef. They both have a uh, an, an late game ace who can heal. Um, I think I have to tip the scales to the... Oh, I don't... <sighs> Do they have more attack power? Uh, I would say whoever has more attack power, but which side is that, deal? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm leaning towards rebels personally. Like they just, it just works, right? Like all these pieces work together. They're proven. Mm -hmm. They are tried and true. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I will have to lean towards Neil Weber here. Um, because it's just easier synergy, right? Yeah, precisely. All right, we, we got, got hit, hit, crit to start it off from this arc one seventy, and it looks like who's in the lead there? Is that Garvin in the lead? Is Garvin going to be taking some damage right away? Yeah, he spent his focus on offense, I believe. Let yeah, me double check those dice stats. He's for he's, one eye. Yeah, he did. He's taking a damage engine that could end up mattering later oh, on in the game. Really? I mean, not, uh, and that's not even to mention the fact that he's already given up half points. Uh, bet one all, bet one all, bet one all. No, and, and it worked. Closing. Yeah. Closing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Those no, of you try. who. I got, I got mine in. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, that's an unfortunate turn of events. I'm not sure what. So he must have his wings closed. Okay. I'm not sure they were. He was expecting combat there. I don't think he was. I don't think he was. Wow. Okay. You know what? Sometimes um, you got to get it started early. So one thing I was going to say here uh, in, in the opening mm -hmm. when you were talking about the list, I know that, yes, Garvin just took half points as I finished saying, like, oh, this list is so good. It happens, all right? They're going to happen. You have only two agility and you have no mods. It's going to happen. Uh, uh, yeah, he boosted. That's why. That's, mm -hmm. I, was like, I, I was like, how did they get in front of Dutch? It's because him and Luke boosted. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense now. What I was going to mention is that it is really cool to see a list like this do well, um, especially that these are um, – besides, you know, Jake, you don't really see him in the Star Wars movies. But, um, you know, it, it, it feels very thematic to fly these named pilots. You got Garvin. You got Red Leader. You got Red Leader, Gold Leader, and Gold Five uh, – sorry, and Red mm -hmm. Five um, out on the table. So, I mean, it's just, it's great to see this type of list do well. Um, and I would say if you have any newer players who are just jumping into X-Wing because of Star Wars and they like the quote-unquote good guys, I put in quote-unquote because people have different opinions on who are the good guys, <laughs> all right? Um, this is a great yeah. option for to give somebody. Absolutely great option. No, they're my uh... – uh, they're very much uh, the like baseline, I think, for rebels as far as like synergy goes. Um, and you could really slot anybody into that uh, fourth position there after Darwin, Drake, 
<laughs> I'm combining all the names. Uh, Gar- <laughs> Garvin, Dutch, and Jake. Uh, I've, I've seen a bunch of different lists. Uh, sometimes even a ghost in there. You can uh, throw Callus in there, who wouldn't mind the extra actions as well. Um, but when you do something like Luke, who doesn't really benefit from the focuses because of his force economy, it keeps all that synergy internal then. Um, so Garvin passes somebody to, or passes the focus token to Dutch. Dutch passes the lock back to him. Um, very uh, interesting synergies here. And these squad seven veterans and Warhog don't care. They're coming in for nope. that diamond boron missile. Yeah, they are. They're deciding what target here. Goes for Garvin, hoping he gets the block. Oh, okay. The Arc-170 is, you know what? We're going to hit the cloud. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I talked yeah, my mom. A... used to say that all the time. I talked to her this morning. Sorry, that was... <laughs> yeah, no, no Whatever. worries, man. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, but with, uh, ooh, Garvin, nice. Slips through that block. Hopefully flipped his wings there. Yeah, it didn't, did not, but... We assume he did. Maybe not. That's why I need some wing tokens, man. It's, it's round six. You got to let uh, um, the instincts take over, I guess. That's, that's right. <laughs> so this is Dutch without a focus. Uh, he's taking a lock, and he's going to give it to... He's going to take two locks because of that R3 Astromech. And when he does, he can give a lock to someone else. And that lock is going to be Garvin. Okay, so the Rebel's doing a good job here of just not crashing into the joust. Should Dutch have a focus? No, it was left over from last round, but these are some intense maneuverings here as we enter into uh, the first thing. All right, just so you guys stick around for um, uh, for the end here, uh, after this game is over, we're actually going to be, uh, if, if you were on our Discord, you probably saw it already, uh, or some of it. Now, I haven't seen all of it, but I got a bit of a, a pretty big teaser for Galaxies coming up here at the end of this game. So make sure you guys stick around. Will they include the dates? No, it will not. The dates will not be revealed until the Ace Championship, but I got a lot of stuff for you. A lot of stuff for you, okay? So uh, we can talk about it when we are uh, when we're done for the day. But we should have have a good time. Have a good time. All right, here All right, we go. Pew pew pews. Luke. This is Luke Skywalker. Four hits, and he rolls. I spoke it into existence. I said it <laughs> yeah, early. Like, four dice. Like he's into not even four. done rolling, and he already called the dice. <laughs> I'm that good, Will. I'm that good. <laughs> that good. I'm, I, I'm not on your level, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So every time I say something, it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Got four damage into that arc 170, one away from half there. Yeah, and I feel like <laughs> this is going to be Rick. Let's check uh, Garvin's speed. Garvin did do the three bank here, so no Rick Olay ability. Just blanks. Are you going to risk your fire convergence on it? And yes, 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 he is. He's going to go ahead and spend one to roll two. Ooh, and now has no, the decision no. about whether or not. I'm oh, sorry. No, you don't even have a focus. Never mind. Can't do it. He, he daredeviled. Yep. Oops. I was trying to type into TTS. Let's try that again. There you go. Uh, Neil found it. He's like, what's this focus token doing? I haven't even shot anybody. <laughs> Ooh, a piece of candy. It shouldn't be here. I mean, Garvin's not out of it yet. He is in arc of all three of those things around him. And so we this only got Garvin. one hit. Wings, wings closed, range one. Gonna spin Dutch's lock. Well, not Dutch's lock, but the lock Dutch gave him. 
for two hits and a crit. Uh, that was a strained arc, so it just takes all of those shields away. Man, these rebels coming in, punch him. What kind of weapons we got here on Dutch? He's got an ion torpedo if he wants it. I, li I like it. I like me some ion torpedoes. But do you just, or do you take the range one and just try to do some good damage with the target lock? Against these arcs, I think I'd rather have the damage. Save the torpedo for long range attacks when that's the only option. All right. Sorry. <clears throat> Had to mute for a second. Spending the target lock. Can he convert the one? Got three. Ooh, three hits there from Dutch. And going to push two through. Able to get that half point on the blue arc 170. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Rebels got a lot this turn. They got a chunk well, here. They're, cho they're choosing violence. I mean, the, the arcs were barely rolling the defense dice there. Mm -hmm. um, and so let's see what they can do. Mm -hmm. Right I now, score 23 mm, to I, 22. Leading Republics, though, though. I feel like I'd start with the the Warthog who took the target lock. Yep, yeah, he's got he's got choices of of, of order here. Um, I think he got a little excited. I think it would have preferred the shot into Luke Skywalker from. I guess no. Well, no, nah, he can go into Garvin. The, you take the uh, back shot. Warthog had the lock, and that's gonna be probably dead. Oh. We'll find out if Garvin can get double paint here. Nope, he can. Hit crit goes so, through. Yeah, he'll survive for now. For now, we'll see what the crit is. Spends so a focus, it passes it to Dutch. a buddy. Yep. Direct hit. Oh, Boom. got him. She gone. There wow. it is. Garvin taken off the board. 46-22. I think these guys heard about our galaxies preview, and they're just they're just trying to, they're just trying to murder each other. I mean, uh, this is very, very two very similar lists in my opinion, um, but they're they're going about it hard. Uh, this is a turret attack. Range either one. either click the wrong ship, or I didn't want to shoot that. And hit, hit, crit. Looking at Luke Skywalker. Guaranteed for one. Takes two. Shields, Shields are down, down on, on Luke. All right. Yeah, no car, no cards quite yet. So, so now is it Warthog's turn? Um, uh, I think he rolled, he rolled double eyeball, I believe. He rolled two dice. We got one eye. Oh, yeah. one eye. Okay, yeah. I see it here. It was, it was very quick. Yep, 46-22. Yeah, yeah, that that's a high-value target, too. But in the end game, though, uh, struggles to prevent damage and uh, do it as well with just that two-dice turret. So we'll see where the next target priority is. I have to assume it's Luke. Um, just because he's already shields down, right? Yep. Like you've already started there. A couple people asking I mean, about these... Rick, a couple people asking about Rick here. Rick did shoot. He missed. Yeah, he fire convergence and rolled a bunch of nothing. Mm hmm. A uh, quick comment, by the way. Um, I, I I love the perfect scale of tokens that Alan has on his side because they look like, like the exact scale of the large tokens that we use on stream in person. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I have a little bit of nostalgia, like, in my heart right <laughs> now. God, man, Will, I'm so excited to soon be able to to play in the studio. The tabletop, the tabletop for the new table is coming in on Wednesday. Wednesday. Woo! Oh, that's pretty fancy. Ah, excited. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, man, we gotta plan a trip or something. Mm-hmm. Schedule something. Mm-hmm. If we didn't have a tournament every single weekend. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have a little we break. A little, we'll have a little break before Galaxies. I'm sure we got uh, we got Marcel who's willing to come. I know it's good. To be, it's a, a bit of a trip for Ryan, so we'd have to plan that, mm-hmm. plan around that. Um, but I'm sure we could get um, a fourth for um, coming over and play some games, sir. Yep, a little little round Something. robin CDC. Following those CDC recommendations for people who are vaccinated, can meet with other vaccinated people in small groups. So hopefully be able to bring you guys some content like that. That's uh, one of the reasons why you see a lot of YouTubers out there who are able to uh, do that that kind of stuff in small group. Same idea. Oh, duh. Kayla, dude. Kayla can play. Duh. Oh, yeah. Now, she might be rusty, though. She hasn't been playing X-Wing. She's been busy playing. Mm. Wow. Mm, she can take on uh, uh, your girl. Um, you, you, you taught her a couple games, didn't you? Made a whole YouTube series about it. This is true. This is true. But she hasn't played. She hasn't played in a while either. <laughs> <Since then either. laughs> well, Balanced as all things should be. All yeah. right, here we go. We got us. We spent a uh, a charge to regen a shield on Luke Skywalker. So adding one of those shields back onto. The one like and that. only that's, Luke Skywalker. That's a good idea. Um, that's a precious commodity. Um, so you need to be safe. And it gets a uh, block on Rick as well. Blocks all around here. Blocks on blocks on blocks. Uh, so Dutch is going to start us off first here with a primary shot. Quick shout out to Grimwolf03, 12 months, earn the helmets. Thank you so much, friend. All right, here we go. Range one shot, three dice, got the three. And all three of those are sticking. You got half points on another ARC 170. 46 to 44. These guys are just trading points. <laughs> Yeah, no joke. Um, unfortunately for the Rebels, that they're splitting their fire between the two arcs. Mm-hmm. Um, and that one's their only shot this round, too. It seems like, man, more and more moving first is seems to be better in X-Wing. Let's see. Two hits here. Fire Convergence. That's going to be a string of four. Did he only re-roll one? Oh, no, he didn't have a focus. Sorry. Sorry, I got excited. But, yeah, he only re-rolled he one. I thought... He okay. does not have a focus. Oh, well. Missed stop. That's a damage. We can't, we can't rewind your dice rolls. Yeah. Uh, we're kind, but not that kind. That's on you. We can only, we can only protect the game state. <laughs> <laughs> a one hit and a crit. This one is the one, or Hound has a focus. Yep. Or Warthog. Whatever his name is. Spent it. Two hits and a crit. And Natty. Natty's there. So there's that shield from our two astromech gone. It's R2D2 in our mind, but yeah. not by name. In our hearts. It is an, yeah. it is an R2 astromech, you know? Yeah. That, just, I mean, we just don't, we don't know which one. I don't know, what, I don't know which <laughs> one he is, but... He's blue and silver. Two crits. Uh, two crits. And that's going to get under the shields. We got half points on Luke, at least for now. But the crit is, crits are forever. We got a blinded pilot. I mean, you're right. That's not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. that's uh, for Luke, who normally just goes full send, uh, force on offense. Um, not a big deal. Uh, S- <laughs> Smallenberg? Small- Smellenberg uh, says. Oh wait a second, that uh, was into Luke. Uh, that, yeah, was that was Luke, Luke. Luke into yeah, it was range two. All right, we're good now. We're fine. We're yeah. fine. We're fine. We're fine. Smellenberg says, "Is that more the current hyperspace environment? The moving first thing? I think so. Um, with the massed ships and higher uh, ship like higher ship counts on the table in general, mm-hmm. um, we've seen more medium bases. I think." 
um, than we ever have between like arcs and lats, uh, fire sprays, things like that. They're like, yeah, I, I do think Moon First has its advantages these days. The range one shot from the lat was into Rick, guys. It was not, uh, I believe, wasn't it? Why would he shoot his friendly? No, 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 no. On the lat, maybe I'm missing something. Hold on. The Dutch Warthog. Dutch shot the arc. Oh. Then the lat shot Luke. And then... Oh, yeah, you're right. He stripped the shield. Was it? They, they, they rolled too many dice. Hold on. You're right. Yep. From that... who? That matters. The lat rolled three dice into Luke, and it was only range two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and do it, you it was, want to rewind? Yeah, I mean that's that's a pretty pretty massive, okay. pretty massive. We All could right. still let the other the other damage lie, but it would just be a shield, not a crit. So it's the difference. Of was it range if that one? Crit is on or not? Yeah, it was range two. So, yeah, he has range two. So re-roll so, re -roll two dice. And that's how you solve it. There's a focus out there. Yeah, so that card and shield is... Well, it's more than that, but it's... Yeah, because he blocked yeah. one. Yeah, just put it, put it, leave it to the side for right now. Now, there's only one damage that put went through, so it's just the crit that we're wondering about. Yep. So the shield is good. Luke spends so no. the force. So no crit. So no crit, just a shield. There you go. Resolved. Perfect. Boom shot. Yeah, because that original attack only did two. So now it and now it has done no or the original attack had only done one. Now yeah. it has done zero. And we have corrected oh. the board state. Awesome. I questioned that and I was just like, well, whatever. Like, <laughs> I didn't question it. I was just like, man, that's a pretty long range one. But get thick. What get that's thick what... range one, get thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean this goes back to again, man. Like I like I said, um, Getting used to reading the log is really important. Uh, every every time you spawn a thing or do anything, uh, you can spawn the log. And in fact, when you use your dial to take tokens, like a focus token or gain a stress or things like that, that also says in the log as well, mm -hmm. uh, which is perfect. Where uh, as we just did, it was like, wait, what happened on that tank? Yeah, you can rewind all the way back, see what dice results, and even see what dice were modified. If you follow our dice box rules by modifying the dice instead of just putting the token near them, yep. you'll see what what and how the dice were modified. Yeah, we'll get the overlay updated here in a second. I'm sure Jonah Jonah's working on it. He's just he's managing the players and uh, and the overlay, so he'll be he'll be on it. He's got to clear the blinded. Thank you, sir. All right. So back to four full health. Uh, four health. Excuse four. me. Four, not full. <laughs> Okay, so the lat rotated, and the arcs moved up and focused. Josh uh, got blocked. Jake's turning in. Jake still has that pocket. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's like, I'm, co I'm coming. I'm, com I'm coming. <laughs> you want to build these ships? I am coming. Let me at him. I know. Dutch needs to pass off a lock to him quick. Really take advantage of that pocket. Uh, we have another shield expenditure or er, R2D2 charge expenditure for a shield. As Luke's saying, uh uh, I'm good. I'm good, man. I've been here before. I know this game. All right. Yep. Rick taking a three bank, boosting. Oh, he didn't daredevil boost there. No, he did not. I'm kind of surprised he didn't because he's not going to end up with an arc. I'm not sure. Mm. Why did he check? Why All did right. he check what? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I never. Nope. Nothing. All right. 
Here we no go. Worse, no worries. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Right. I was expecting the hard turn boost yeah. as well, but maybe he doesn't want to be stressed in that corner. I think that's exactly what to, it is. He's not going to kill Luke with an unmodified shot like that. So, is he willing to spend the focus? He is. He's trying to get some damage on this lat, and the lat is gonna take one. By, by the way, that's that's a shield, and uh, why did I say laddie? It's actually the L A A T slash I. <laughs> so, it's it's more fun to say it that way. All right, yeah, let's that continue. Old, that old laddie. Good old laddie. All right, Dutch <laughs> checks range there. Probably gonna go um, the 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 range one into the blue arc one seventy. Only able to scoop up one hit, and that arc one seventy finally throws an evade. Here we go. Got some shots into Rick. Oh, oh, no. Sorry. That's his own ship. That didn't make any sense. All right. Where's one into Dutch? They're not even the same faction deal. <laughs> Leave me alone. Three hits. <laughs> <laughs> Three hits. That's and, a fire convergence. And that's going to be a, a focus, right? Yep. That's going to be four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dutch is taking all of them. He just took half points on uh, on Dutch there. Should be down to three hole. Yep. There it is. 71-44. Mm -hmm. You remember fire convergence, the way it works is while a friendly ship performs a non-turret attack, if the defender is in your, meaning the lats, uh, uh, turret arc, you can spend the charge there. And you can see the, the lat has a shot on it too, and they are converging on Dutch, two hits. Going to push another one through. All right, leaves them on two. All righty. We have 42 minutes left in the round. You can see right now the Rebellion. The Rebellion feels like it's a little bit on their back foot. They have Luke at only losing a single shield because of the R2 Astromech, but those charges are gone now. Um, is is the best play you think for Neil is to go after these ARC 170s to try to get them off the board ASAP and get those points back? Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how can Jake shoot a Procket without being blocked. Um, I mean, Warthog is going to do a victory lap around that gas cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think you need to shoot the Procket into one of these uh, Squad 7s. Yeah, sure, the line is expensive, um, but you need to take... A ship off the board. Unfortunately, though, um, if these arcs stay near Warthog, remember uh, that he is going to prevent friendlies at range zero to two from being destroyed in the engagement phase. Yep, zombie arc, baby. But that is going to tether them, though, which means green's moving away from the lat. So maybe green is the right choice here to go and find a procadam. Quick uh, question. Hard 3 boost might do it. Hard 3 boost so, could though. do it. Um, it's not going to get range 2, though. Not another K turn or something. Does the hard 1 on Jake to the left fit? Because you might be, a if if that does, you might be able to, to sneak that in without uh, bumping another ship and use the barrel roll to line up the bullseye. If it fits. Uh, it's, it's tight, though. Well, it's super tight. Well, green didn't K turn like I thought he would. Um, oh, never mind. Just hard two now. Uh, all right. The arc barrel rolling, well, anticipating. <laughs> he wants that block. Oh, go forward to block. You uh, got two. He went middle to middle. He went middle. He's, I mean, he's like, I don't know, forward or backwards. Go middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Because you want to widen the arc a little bit to give mm -hmm. you another round or two, but yep. you also want to try to block Jake. And it looks like the lat is taking a target lock on a Jake. Jake is the target this turn. Jake, where mm -hmm. did you go? He he is he's the one we all want to see because we know he's got that big big money procket in 
in his pocket. Ah, Dutch box gets or bumps again. But that might not be so bad because he is uh, not being shot at right now, though. Oh, well, that's oh. bank. Oh. That's a pocket. So, <laughs> so I guess I'll pocket you, good well, sir. Well, you know what? We had said barrel roll forward. Um, just going to say it. That would have been a block if he would have gone mm -hmm. forward. Mm-hmm. 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 Here it comes. Luke get, is participating in here as well. One bank, little little bit uh, baity right now. Just saying, okay, I'm Luke Skywalker. Shoot me. Yeah, I'm very surprised by a bank instead of the hard turn there. Because because now what? I was I would have I would have put money on a hard three. Uh, because you got Rick behind you, also trying to do three speed maneuvers. Oh, a bar barrel roll. Okay. Well, I mean, you do have the you do have the force charges to help you defensively, so uh, you should be good. But yeah. you you did just shorten the range uh, on the um, on the arc one seventy, and now Rick has a range one shot. Went faster than you. Is going to have four dice with a focus in the Luke. Mm hmm. Uh, this is the Daredevil, right? Yeah, not Predator. Yep. So yep. single mod here. It should be four, right? Oh, he's grabbing what? it. He just he he wants yeah, to check okay. the dial first. He's like, am I faster than you? Oh yeah, I'm faster than you. <laughs> Four dice. Let's see if you can make him have some consequences. Is right, fire let's... convergence in range? Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, remember, because if you if you can get the fourth, that's guaranteed half. Got him. There it is. That is guaranteed half points. Maybe a little more. You got to dump. What, he only got one force. No, he should have two, shouldn't he? Yeah, nothing. He didn't yeah. roll any dice last round, so he's, yeah. he's got both force. Exactly. Even if he only had, even if he had zero force, he would have two force now. Yeah, because this is the first dice fool. Exactly. Luke's force is really easy to track. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, <laughs> uh, I guess he when he until he starts shooting, but. If he's shooting first, it is a little bit weirder to keep track of. But Luke has him shoot. And I think that's uh, what's been winning the game for Allen here is that taking one of the biggest uh, hitters from uh, Neil's list essentially out of the fight, just flying around healing. Yep. Luke hasn't taken a shot since that arc in, like, the second engagement. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's just, just on a flyby. And just mm -hmm. a single focus from Dutch. Dutch not helping out either. Here's All another. Right. Here's the five dice pocket. This could swing. This could get get him some points here. Try to take this arc 170 out. Oh, spend it. Spend it. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. You're behind in yeah. this game. You yeah. got to. Does that kill him? Should. Yes. Guaranteed. Well, kill. I'm, uh, nobody saw my air quotes there. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so he, he has been destroyed, but he gets to stay on the mm -hmm. board and fire due to the ability of Warthog. Warthog reads, after you or a friendly non-limited ship, we call them generics, at range 0 to 2 are destroyed during the engagement phase, that ship is not removed until the end of that phase. So that's the end of the engagement phase. So still gets to shoot. Range one into Jake. Ends up empty. Uh, no mods? Yeah, because he used the com fire convergence on Rick. Oh, oh that feels so bad. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I mean, you still got half on Luke from the fire convergence, so that's all right. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. And this arc firing on Luke as well. Spends a focus for two. <laughs> Bad zombie. Yeah. Bad zombie. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Luke Bear rolled in for the obstruction here, oh. and it's not going to help him. Takes one. Takes another one. Down to whew, one. Down to one. Luke Skywalker. Uh, yeah. And, <sighs> this is going downhill fast for the rebellion. Now, I mean, Dutch is still out there, right? Um, has the potential for some helping out. Uh, Luke can. Uh, start working on the rest of them. I mean, blue is dead. And uh, which does make the score 
104 to the Republic and 66 points to the Rebellion. Now, real quick here, would he be at one force or two force now? Just one, right? Because he recovered, He's... had to use it to 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 spend it. No, but the squad seven shot at him. Squad seven. He he spent both force. Then the squad seven shot. He blanked that's, out at the end one. of the round. That's two. The squad seven shot at him. He blanked out. Oh, it was a blank out. Sorry, I, I read it incorrectly. My bad. My bad. No worries. My bad. I, I just it. assume Luke's always at full force. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> unless unless there's a lot of shots coming in at him. Um, you're right. I don't think the lad did shoot. Lat must engage. Yeah. Now, a quick one for the <laughs> <laughs> quick one for the arc. They may, like, maybe, oh, no. maybe we're oh, no. just in, just talking about it. Long, <laughs> long range to Luke. One hit. Let's see if Luke makes it matter. Likely not, but there's a chance. Three dice, and he's fine. He's fine. Well, like I said, we like a good board state, so. That's right. Allen ahead right now, 104-66. This game, telling you, lots of back and forth. Lots of back and forth early in the game, but uh, the Republic is really starting to to, uh, to creep forward here, especially with basically one more, one more turn, and you probably can take – Luke Skywalker off the board. Uh, yeah, Luke's on one. Dutch is on two. Um, the squad seven has an easy one forward, right? And then if Dutch doesn't do a fast maneuver to bump into his rear, he'll have a good shot on him. Uh, Jake's kind of in the same boat. Pretty much just like hard one boost to try to shoot at the arc. I mean, that's... I know Luke is, or uh, excuse me, I know Luke's in trouble, but like you still need to take the assets you have and do as much damage as you can with them. And I wouldn't be surprised that Luke just moves in, range one to Warthog, and just target locks him and just accepts his death, but tries goes out trying to do as much damage as possible. All right, two Cause straight. Because if, if he could put, if he could put a half points on the lap. Which he easily could with a four dice target lock. And then Dutch and Jake uh, can kill the arc. Ooh, I don't know if they can kill it now. Not with a turret. How much health do these things have? Three left. Oh, no. So I guess Jake could do two, then the ion does one. Mm hmm. That That's seems a reasonable. Chance. That's a chance. Jake looks like he's hooking up a target lock here from Dutch. Going to put it on Rick. Strange. I would put it put it on that arc for sure. It looks like he's trying to maybe spread out his options, but yeah, Jake probably has a. I mean, right now he has a shot on the arc one seventy. Yeah, I'm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can bank boost, but see, I would focus boost come in and give Dutch a focus then too. I do like that. I do like that. By the way, shout well, out to I, I, I made this a sub to Gold Squadron for becoming a patron. By the way, I did notice we did officially sell out of the uh, Patreon top spots for the metal charge tokens. Thank you to everybody who has supported at that level. Looking forward to get these in your hands. Um, so Jake didn't move in here. I think that's his... That's a strange decision. I'm not sure what his thought on that was. Maybe he's trying not to put Jake into the arc of that I ship. I think he's going to try to sloop next turn. I, I know that's thinking pretty far ahead, but if he, it, because he's trying not to stress himself. Because if, so. if you're planning on continuing into the corner, there's no reason not to stress yourself. So, um, yeah. It's kind of at least what it feels like. We'll see what we end up getting. Uh, but yeah. Luke, so Luke did end Luke up arc dodging. Do, 
Yeah, but he only did it with a two turn, which means uh, Rick, who did three forwards, going to get another four dice attack on him. Uh, that's going to kill him. Oh, wait, Luke shoots first. Luke first. Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot who was, sorry, I forgot who was rolling. My bad. It's been a long day, guys. All right, a direct hit wow. into the lat. So console fire and a direct hit there. Uh, so ends up finding the half points then? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah they're, they are a 10 hit point ship and they've taken five damage. Yep. 104.96, trying to close the gap. Mind the gap. Range one going into Luke Skywalker. Oh, that's, that's a dead dead. Luke. He's so dead. <laughs> uh, nothing you can do about that. You just gonna. Go There's no now. Han Solo goodbye. coming to save you this time. No, goodbye. F's in the chat for for Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I was gonna say like. See, then this is why I was like, you know, why are you trying to arc dodge, man? Just, just take your licks. Go half them. But he ended up getting uh, two hits, any or all four hits anyways, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but see, this is what, as I, I'm convinced that that line is not in range two of um, the arc, mm. and this would have been a golden opportunity to initiative kill this thing. Good point, good point. It could point. still happen, though. It could still happen. And here's the roll. Hit focus and two mm. blanks. Mm, Jake not spending that. So real feels bad now because now he's at one health. He's living at one. If he would have spent it, he would have taken him out. Uh, sorry, that's what I mean. He's at two health now. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, two yeah. health. But, I mean, also yeah. there's, a, there's a, the target lock kind of missed opportunity there um, earlier as well that, that had some potential. All right, two hits. Coming in from Dutch, able to re-roll, got the third one. Let's see if you can get him off the board Money. here. And Why takes dice? Uh, range one dorsal turret. Dorsal. Yeah. I am used to ion cannon turret. And I, I uh, think this so I wasn't th I was thinking one damage from him the whole time. That's that's why my that's why I was sounding like a crazy person. <laughs> uh, that I was like Dutch can only do one damage. I'm wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, I have always flown Dutch with an ion cannon, so that's that's my bad. Man, Warhog, no valid targets. Okay, never mind. Dorsal turret, it is. Um, but someone had yeah. mentioned a, a while ago, and we see Denki Soros here um, reminding us. Uh, does Dutch stay on the board? What maneuver keeps him there? Mm, I mean, is he's he going to he's got it too hard. Is he going to have to? Yeah, is that is that on the board though? Is he going to have to somehow sneak Jake in there to prevent mm. Dutch from flying off the board? No, easily has it too hard. Easily, like at easily? least easily at least two two to three pixels. Easily. <laughs> you are so lucky that he's slightly cocked to the left that he <laughs> might work. I don't think so, though. I, I think that's what saves him. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> you keep saying that word, but do you really know what it means? <laughs> I, I'm tr I am projecting confidence into the move. Projecting confidence. I mean, I think... Jay could figure out a way to barrel roll in front of 
Dutch and let him just one bank and get a little bit more angle. Mm-hmm. Ooh, whoops! Astro say even a straight. Pfft, I don't know, man. I'm not. You're not. I'm not counting the same square as you are. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't think it does. All right, people are calling for a poll here. Let's see if I can get it done fast enough. It takes a couple oh, of clicks here. It's, it's quick. We got oh, all the dials down already. Does so it? Fit. He doesn't move first. Question so. mark. Yes. No. For the record, Good. I don't think it fits. I think it's all right, there. No. Yes or no? One or two? One for yes, two for no. Do you think the heart two fits on Dutch? Two, no. <laughs> well, we got a bump here. A right. warthog. Do a lot of back and forth of this. Be vindicated. Come on. Ooh, you got get, a couple more seconds. Get your votes in. Then I got to stop it once we get the move. All right, Jake is going away. Jake's going yeah, he's, away. He's had enough of this party. <laughs> he's like, I'm out, fam. It fits. It fits. <laughs> the yes is vindicated. Vindication. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, clear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, clearly, yeah. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> fair enough, man. Fair <laughs> enough. I my, my my counting of squares gets really big when we get over to the edge of the board edge. All right, Rick taking a taking the t big turn there. Three hard. Uh, right now, basically the uh, the Republic just got to keep the pressure on. Dutch, take Dutch out here. He's only got a single agility. Um, obviously, Warthog is more survivable. And then they got to go track down a Jake, who mm -hmm. is full, mm -hmm. mind you. Yeah. I'm put by someone so serious. No. Ah! <laughs> not, not that serious of a bet. <laughs> Now, the, the Vader challenge, that's serious. If you haven't participated there, exclamation point Vader. But here's Rick from downtown, uh, unable to do anything on the Jake, not even scratching the paint. Yeah, I, I agree, Marcel. Why is he running with Jake? I think what he's trying to do is just create distance so he can fight Rick or Warthog one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't really want to fight both of them together. Uh, with Rick getting that fire convergence on every shot. Uh, the Dutch, though. Council fire did just trigger there on uh, on Warthog. Oh, yeah. He bumped. He couldn't clear it. Yep. And here's a shot, though. Got two hits. It's a range three shot. No mods on Dutch right now. He whiffed. That's it. Dutch off the table. <laughs> oh, wow. Should have taken the focus token. That dude was clearly range three. You weren't getting that shot, Dutch. All right, so you got 161, 118, Allen, clear leader, and it basically you play conservative and you let Jake come to you. Don't like uh, the don't yep. overexert yourself because here's the thing with the uh, with the maneuverability of Jake and uh, Warthog being only one agility, we could get a we could get a timeline where Jake takes the uh, takes the Warthog out. And it's a Rick and Jake, uh, you know, battling off. Now, of course, Rick is more points. So as long as he doesn't get half points, he should be fine. But you still got to watch out for it. Yeah. Uh, I, to, to follow up uh, to what Marcel had mentioned, um, Warthog does have that lock on there. And we see relatives ho, uh, saying Jake running from the missiles. Uh, that's that Diamond Boron missiles. Uh, it does not want to be in that front arc. Mm -mm. And he's got three. I mean, Warthog still got three of them left, so he's going to be coming around the mountain here pretty soon. So Rick, Rick's got to play it cool. Play it cool. Make sure your arc is pointing at at, uh, at Jake. But if Jake does something like a five forward here, you're just like, hey, cool man, no worries, no worries, no worries. I'll wait for you. Give uh, give Warthog enough time to uh, bring his arc to bear. Yeah, I'd be tempted to just turn away with Rick. And just hang out with Warthog. Clears the council fire. The Snail Master is letting us know they are 0 for 6 on bets today. Listen, there's still game to play. But yeah, you're probably <laughs> going 0 and 6. I'm sorry. <laughs> probably right. That's okay. I, I am also 
Uh, as much X-Wing as I play and watch, I'm still pretty bad at guessing. All right, so we got a three straight there from Rick. Got got the EVA, just slap, the, slap a focus down and call it a day. Yeah, that Ooh, is true. What? Uh, Bear, what? Chris, Chris Neal's point out, Rick still has two or two charges. He's nowhere near being halved. Oh, you right. You right. Well, I mean, it's a little aggressive. Got range one, but no mods. What's the dials at there? Uh, hard one versus... Versus the three straight. So this is four dice mm -hmm. shot. Looking for two. Got three. Hit it. Crit. Talk about the over. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Three agility mm -hmm. on Jake. He's got to focus. He's taking one. Plinking away. Scratch the paint. There it is. See? And Rick has got an evade. Right? He's got three agility. So uh, he shouldn't take more than... Well, he literally can't take more than two hits from this attack. And, those and Rick two somehow range that... two? Oh, that's oh, a feel bad. The angle. The angles. So he can only take one from this attack now. Yep. He's taken. Oh, he's got a lock and a focus. Nope. So he takes nothing. Two dice in the maiden. Safe. People asking, does Rick have uh, charges left on R2? And yes, they are full. Now you guys can't see it. It's just off screen on the bottom left-hand corner. That's Rick's card right there. Oh, yeah. I don't want to take advantage of these big old boards we got. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely see the... It must be people playing uh, zoomed in or zoomed out. I'm not really sure, but, like, I never change the dial sizes or, like, card sizes or anything like that. But I also, like, zoom in so my dial's enormous when I start setting them. Right. Do, do people with big dials play, like, zoomed out all the time? I, I make the dials bigger so that it's easier for me to not hit accidental buttons because there's just some close to each other, and it makes me nervous. So I, I make them just a little okay. bit chunkier for that reason. Okay, that makes sense. They're bigger in the ratio to, to where the mouse. you click on them. Yeah. Okay. Not for me. That makes sense. Now, Jake could try to try to get, get his zoom on here and try to – Try to start chasing down this Warthog. He can get a turn, at least one turn of uncontested shots. I mean, will he though? Because I feel like Rick's just going to talent roll. I mean. He's got nothing to do but talent roll. You're right. Because I'm not sure how Jake could even respond to that. I guess a hard one bear roll could block it. Rebellions are built on hope, Will. I, I know. Okay. I'm saying he should, <laughs> as an alternative... Hard one and barrel roll to block that talon roll. All right. It would, I always it, make them bigger so when I set dials, I can see the board. So you're playing zoom down. So that's probably smarter. I don't zoom out when I'm setting dials or maneuvering. <laughs> <laughs> Three bank boost. Going to be trading some shots through the rock. Okay. Uh, it does provide him an exit lane. Mm -hmm. Takes a focus. Rick, three turn. He'll be coming around to. Uh, it's taking a target lock. Wait, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, they got locks. Yeah, they got locks. They shoot torpedoes. Yeah, I know that was really dumb. I had a uh, what, what is? <laughs> I, I, I was like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Rick doesn't target lock. What are you talking about? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just had a had a uh, some, uh, I he also had a freaked moment. out when he barrel rolled two seconds ago. I guess the only boost in focus. Uh, no, no, I enough. freaked out because I didn't like it. I didn't like the uh, barrel. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So I yelled at it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Spends All right, it for hit crit. <laughs> oh, gonna Ooh, push them both yeah. through. Hit crit. Let's see what the crit is. It is a whole breach. Everything's a crit now. One, two, three, four, five, six total cards there. Only two left on the latte. <laughs> All right. Uh, question for you. Yeah. Can, well, wait. We got a return fire he's here. Got, he's got but, a shot back. He's got a shot back. Yeah. Barely, barely obstructed. Mm 
with. Hmm. Yeah, as a note, you cannot use fire convergence when using a turreted attack. Mm -hmm. So, can't do anything about that. Uh, Atticus says, is it sad that I've had GSP on the TV all day? I thought they called it a telly, but... No, it's not. It's not sad. Oh, at why all. would that it's be great. sad? It's no. It's here's the thing, though. It's it's normal. This is streamed content. It's personalized streamed content, right? Like, no hate. You're in the future, fam. Hi. Yeah, I'll be like Twitch and YouTube have basically replaced cable for me, 100. percent Yep. Maybe a little bit of Disney Plus and HBO Max, but mm -hmm. beyond that, no. Like your TV is literally talking to you. Hi, Atticus. Hi. Thank you for watching Gold Squadron Podcast. Welcome to the right? future. <laughs> All right. Just saying. All right. One bank drops a focus. And Jake trying to get out of range here, but I think he's going to actually make it unobstructed. Yeah. I, like I said, I, I think that he's worried about those diamond borons because uh, right now that's uh, close to a 270 degree arc. Yeah. Where it, it's stronger in the front arc. <laughs> no, excuse me. So I, I see what he's doing here, right? Like he's valuing getting behind the lat where it's harder mm -hmm. for it to shoot him. Until he rotates. Yeah, whatever. Let him waste his action. <laughs> All right, uh, one hit, one out the box. We'll get that re-roll there. Going at Jake and got two hits. Jake has a focus, should be fine with these five dice, but crazier things have happened, is safe. If you guys want to watch Twitch on your TV and you don't have a smart TV that has uh, Twitch on it, um, I would recommend, either the, I believe it's the Fire Stick and Chromecast both have Twitch on it. And they're relatively cheap, mm -hmm. you know, compared to, you know, like buying a new TV. Like, that's a really easy way to do it. I use a Fire Stick for mine, personally. And I have, uh, I have a... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I made this to sub to Gold Squadron and said, you wouldn't be worried if you're watching college football or soccer or whatever all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they watch those NASCARs go around in circles for hours. Yep. I think you could watch some, some ships run circles around each other. Exactly. And you know what? This is this is the thing, though. Like, X-Wing is a sport. Like, I, I look at it like a sport, right? We spectate it. <laughs> yeah. There are competitors. <laughs> yeah. We care about... It, it's, my, it's my sports. Right? I we agree. talk about 100%. players. Like, it's it, it really is. Like, I know it's not, not the same. We but, fill you know, out brackets mm -hmm. for tournaments all the time. We do competitive yeah. analysis. We rank players and uh, teams, the different factions and stuff. Yep. No, it's it's my sports. Like literally, what we're doing today is we are we are watching the single like the you know how there's single A, double A, triple A. We're like watching like a single mm -hmm. A championship right now is what we're doing right now. Yeah, Recruits, pretty much, right? Yeah. Think about it that way. All right. Yeah, small college teams. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. what's up, Rick? No mons. <laughs> I see Check you, but I can't hit you. Checking that fire convergence here. It's on. If he wants to re-roll it, you might as well. And he's going for it. Only ends up with one. Well, it's good information for Jake as well, knowing that there's another shot coming in. But he's going to have to spend it here. Yeah. Because he's, he's keeping half points. Uh, because as long as he keeps half points, he could. he's still in a win condition, but he's got to kill Warthog and half Rick without losing his own shield. That's the win condition. It's not a great one or easily attainable one here hold especially on. after doing zero damage i got a little little bit of uh of commentary for s rupees here one second <clears throat> you see at the end of the day what neil's got to do is score more points than allen to win that's it it's that simple all right you score more points you win the game that's it period yeah, i mean if the other opponent keeps uh, scoring more points than he does, he'll never win the game. This is true. Or, or in fact, if you don't score more than your opponent, you lose. That's also true. 
That's a good. That's a good game strategy. Um, I can't deny that. It probably probably gonna be this player's goal this round uh, to score some points. Hopefully, be, have more than his opponent. <laughs> Love you guys. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Jake right now, it looks like he's trying to conserve it. Actually, you know what? This turn, mm, he took a focus. I would have liked I would have liked to see him scoop up a target lock this turn. I mean, he has the ability to get a focus basically whenever he wants to right now. <laughs> and here's the lat. From downtown, so he, he's got a lock. He's spending that lock, finally. I converge he's, myself. He, yeah, the he's giving up on way. that diamond boron dream. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Nah, Jake says, nah, I'm good. Oh, thanks, Atticus. We try. I We make ourselves laugh. I hope it's <laughs> funny for everybody else. <laughs> I, I know I'm having a good like I'm having a good time and I'm hoping that 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 comes through the chat like I think that's important. Yeah, perfect loser. This is better than sports or greater than. This is greater than sports to me. Oh man, well we appreciate you being here, joining us for the last 15 months. Mm -hmm. Will saying Dinky Soros was the highlight of my day. <laughs> <laughs> you, you couldn't hear me, but I was losing it. Like, oh my gosh. My wife says this is worse than American football. Well, everybody's entitled to their opinion. All right. So we <laughs> we continue here. You must lack. be a big football fan. Because uh, football has seasons. This is, goes all the time. Uh, yeah, every weekend. Every weekend, no, well, weekend. Well, this is this is this is the end of a season. But right in the next couple oh, weeks, we end a season and we're gonna go into Galaxy season. They just so happen to be back to back. All right, we get yeah, a month off yeah. of, the, of the gold of the gold squadron season. There'll be a, a about a month off from the competitive side. It becomes more casual. It's like scrimmages, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jake here found a block on Rick. That was a talent roll. That says TRD or TL3 or whatever. No, three left bank. Oh, shreds a stress token because he daredeviled last round. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. If you're listening, what? you have no idea why I'm laughing. Oh. What are you doing in I there? Was, it's <laughs> I was trying to type exclamation point my bet. <laughs> I typed exclamation point my bed. <laughs> uh, wow. No, sorry. There's no command for that, guys. <laughs> Man, I know the sun went down, but keep it together for a couple more minutes, Dion. All right. Jake. Jake has been on this, mi on this mission to take out the lat. He Neil, Neil is not, or uh, not Neil. Uh, yeah, Neil. Neil is not going down without a fight. That's right. Spends a focus, takes a crit. Oh, it was going to be a crit no matter what because a whole breach. One gets through, and what is it? It is a fuel leak. Irrelevant when you have one hole left. Fuel leak and a uh, whole breach uh, <laughs> at one health. All right. And here we go. Two dice coming in, range two, one hit. No mods on this one. Jake would have to blank out and almost does. All righty. We got five minutes left. These guys, these guys playing some patty cake right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, uh, I don't think Jake... So he would have to. Uh, if if he wanted to have Rick, so like I'm thinking of the scenario where Jake kills the lap, mm -hmm. turns around as fast as he can, 
and then goes and fights Rick. But he's going to need two shots on Rick. He can't get half points in one shot. And if Rick heals and takes an evade, I don't think the math says that Jake could kill him in two shots. Or oh. even have him in two Ooh, shots. Little, little, was this a tactical bump? No. Wouldn't have been a tactical bump on purpose. Well, I, mean, I think it works out because you get a shot into the lat. Otherwise, you would have been sitting in front of it, potentially, with no mm -hmm. shot. Yeah. Jake is going to end up likely getting Warthog, but doesn't have any uh, any mods. And Warthog doesn't uh, have a shot, so. Yeah. yeah. Works out. Yep. Tactical bump for sure. Yep. Sure. Yeah, of course. Did he hard turn or? Yeah, man, the lock, the yeah. lock this turn uh, would have, would have. Oh no, sorry, Diamond War on is two to three, so never mind. Two crits roll, takes Keep a going. crit, dies, takes an extra with the fuel leak. Yeah, a crit chain here. Console fire into a fuel leak. Hey, uh, pressure's on, Jake. Four minutes. You got to find three damage to a ship that gets free evades. And, and moves after you. Move, yeah, free evades, moves after you, and can heal its shields. Twice. You got this. <laughs> you got this, Jake. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm trying to think of the math. I'm like, well, if he shoots range one and gets three hits, the evade stops the halving, right? Right. And then next round, if Jake gets another three hits and Rick blanks out again, he would have the evade and got a shield back. So that would have him. But then he flies away the third round and gets a shield and he's back up to half. So then you need to do two hits. And Rick has to blank every single time. <laughs> I don't, that's not very good math, Jim. It can happen. That's not very good math is all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I think Jay could do it. We'll see something, I'm, I'm sure. Maybe uh, land on a gas cloud or something. Maybe Rick will move, uh, do a talent roll. He won't have an evade or something. I'm guessing you win a lot of lotteries, right? <laughs> well, I'm trying to really break down uh, the, the real math of it, and it's just not just not good. It's not good. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's calculating in the evade every time. Yep. B like basically, if, what, if, what Jake's got to reach for, you got to look through for those low percentage opportunities. Take as many shots as you can. Uh, fly unpredictably, because what you don't want to end up getting is is in in a in a, a hard turn war. Like if these guys literally just keep going around a circle of this cloud, Jake never catches them. He's got to, he's got to bust a sloop or a K turn here and actually give chase. You can't just be going going in circles. So we'll see what he ends up uh, doing here. Neil's got two minutes to figure it out. I mean, it's time. Uh, not not time of the round, but like uh, there's time to do it, but you kind of need some cooperation from the Rick player. Uh, and Rick style set, he's ready to go. He's like, I'm not running for points. You're running for points. He's done the math as well. All right, there's that sloop you were talking about, but it did hit the debris. That ain't right. Yep. Oh. It's just the nub, guys. It's the nubbin. It is, too. Oh, That's just rough. just barely. Our nubs count for overlapping. It sure it's does. True. And Rick's coming in from the shot. Rick's Get like, I'm here, I'm here to play, man. I ain't. Like, we're playing 70 minutes and you ain't going to let me kill you. I'm coming in. <laughs> All righty. This actually might end up being the last round due to event time. We'll find out here in a second. Here's the what roll. The Plenty of evades after Rick gets those two hits. Yeah, the, the event timer did go off. Confirm. All right. Event time. We'll let him know. Yeah, unfortunately, Jake with Jake by himself really didn't have an out here at the very end. 
Um, but still, super well flown. Yes, congratulations to Alan Clark getting this W 161 to 147. Absolutely great game. Lots of back and forth. Awesome, awesome, awesome.